Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the Third, part one, episode number 22 and 23 reaction. And these two are the final episodes of this season. Okay, before we start, um, I need to like you know talk a little bit what I'm going to do from next week. Now, here's the thing, as I said before, as I explained before, like season two and season three are huge. At first I thought I would like you know uh skip those and react to from part four. But then I like you know made a little change. What I'm going to do here is um like you know I will spend two months on season two and two months on season three. So for the two months that I'm going to spend in reacting to season two, I want you guys to comment in the comment uh, box about like you know what uh episode you want me to react to. Now here here's the thing. Uh, like you know everyone can like you know uh, comment like only two episodes from one season like in season two you can recommend me two episodes to react to and since as I said like you know I don't know how many people will even comment and how the like you know situation is going to be so like uh, by like you know basic calculation uh, if one person is able to recommend two episodes from one season what will happen is like since it's like I do two episodes in one week so I'll be able to complete 16 episodes you know in two months which would mean uh, I will be able to take eight people's recommendation like like that's what's like you know is going to happen like so eight of you can like you know recommend me episodes uh, two episodes per people for every like you know for season two now I don't know if you can understand like it's a little bit complicated the way I'm explaining it but uh, the basic thing is like you can recommend me two episodes that you want me to react to from season two if you want to. And uh, now, as I said, like, you know, I don't know how many people will comment, how many comments I'll have. It will depend, like, you know, if like there's like more than eight people recommending me stuff, you know, I might have to like, you know, uh, pick out of those, you know, pick the uh, episodes out of those. As I said, like, I won't spend more than two months on one uh on season two or season three because um you know like either otherwise it'll kind of like go extend and like i won't be able to start reacting to season four at all because i've heard like season four is where it gets really good you know rupan so i want to react to that as soon as possible but i also don't want to like you know leave out season two and season three that's why all the like you know your favorite episodes the ones which are great i want you guys to recommend me now here's another thing i want to tell here like um someone let me know that in part two, in season two of Lupin, um, there are two episodes which are really good and that I should definitely react to. Um, these are, I think, episode 145 and 155. Now, these two are exception, you know? I will re react to them whether you comment, like, you know, recommend it to me or not. I will react to them, you know, separately. So you like you know don't need to recommend me episode 145 or 155. I will do that either way. So no need to recommend me those two episodes. Like recommend me some other episodes, you know, excluding those two. Since I will do that them like you know almost at the end, I'll do it uh, separately. So yeah, that's basically it. Like I'm only talking about season two now because after like you know the, these two months, I'll talk about season three and kind of do it in a similar fashion when each people will be able to recommend me two episodes for season three but for now like you know and only keep the recommendations for season two because i like you know I'll, I'll, i'd like to go at it chronologically so like so, so i don't know how many people will even comment or what will happen so anyways like you know in this episode's comment section in this video's comment section recommend me stuff and uh, yeah i'll start reacting to them from next week so definitely recommend because otherwise i won't have content from for next week <laughs> so anyways um yeah that was it it's long intro but i wanted to just let you guys know about how i'm going to do everything so all right that was it so okay so let's start this is episode number 22 and 23 reaction from part one okay the previous two episodes um um i loved episode number um 21 it, I, it was really good like you know 20 episode 20 was okay like you know it was that whole thing with um you know those guys who really respect arsene rupan but was trying to put uh our rupan rupan third under the bus just because they like you know like <laughs> were almost getting caught by uh, the police and that whole thing and rupan kind of like you know tricked them 
pulled the whole thing you know like did like you know did a uno reverse card and just like you know tricked them into getting that book unfortunately that book like you know fell into the sea but at least you were able to he was able to run away <laughs> so that was episode um 20 21 was really good i i really liked it we kind of get a little bit more of rupan's not rupan's but rupan's dad's past you can say um how like you know like there's this one um i think safe cracker yeah safe cracker who's girl uh did not know anything about like how what their his fa her father did and you know like he she always thought that yeah we were good people we never did bad things and uh she was kept as a hostage rupan comes and saves her and she like you know by the end ultimately realizes what uh you know her dad was involved in in his past and you know it was a nice little episode where you know like she kind of uh understands and i i guess like after this like, you know there's no more hiding stuff his dad obviously her dad has to come clean with her now and it'll i'm pretty sure it will really like, you know, improve their relationship between the dad and the daughter uh, because hiding stuff you know like it, it's not good especially within family so yeah anyways and uh, that was the, the the previous two episodes so let's see these two the, the final episodes of rupan 3 part one let's see what happens so yeah without further ado let's get started so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time i hear sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start all right here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. <laughs> Okay. What is this? Gordon. Okay, Zenny. Zenny doesn't look doesn't look happy. Oh my god, I can see this going wrong. I can see this going completely wrong. Oh no. Obviously machines cannot compare to Zenigata. <laughs> Zenigata is like, yeah, what about me? Okay. I don't think so. Like human brain is can get more creative, you know. The five move wins computer operation. Then they show. <laughs> okay. Um. It might. Be a problem for him a little bit in the beginning but i'm sure i'm sure he'll get used to it let's see okay Five fifty. Eight hundred million yen wow Okay, let's see how this goes. Um Zenia does not impressed at all. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay. Oh. Hmm. Guy of the engineer. Oh. Okay. Will he do this like this? We should switch the first one. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. It's like a very... Yeah, like what type of I don't know. <laughs> All right. Yes. Men lay in <laughs> Okay, well um that's a little bit harsh, but Okay, let's just try it one time. Okay, um, I wonder if they're really going to do it that way, Rupan. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Hmm. All right. Okay, they're like switching it now. Yeah, yeah, they're switching it. Um, as I said, this is a very simple plan. All right. Oh my God. Alarm will sound. Wait, what? Oh, okay. What? Okay. Oh no, they're going according to the plan, but I feel like, uh, like, you know, like he can improv the situation. Like, you know, as soon as he sees something's going wrong, he can just change his plan. Ah, uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right.
yeah but a little bit different i don't know let's see okay now it is going according to oh my god yes yeah Come on, Rupan. Oh my god. Great. Oh my god. Oh. Wait. Wait, what happened? <laughs> yeah yeah okay there you go the, the plan is just destroyed the plan is destroyed that, there you go it's over run 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 <laughs> okay okay oh my god all right Gordon is like, what the hell? I feel like it, they would have really caught him if, if Zengata did not <laughs> So Zengata helped them out. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there you go, now. <laughs> oh boy. It's like fog. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is like a... Oh no! <laughs> Why is it so foggy suddenly? <laughs> oh, okay. What the hell? Is that like a river or something? Oh no! That's a... Oh! Yo! Oh my god! Oh my god, did they really catch him? Oh my god, they caught him. Where's Rupan? He's gone. Or maybe he's just like hiding somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least he got two of them. Ah. Yeah. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, <laughs> nah, I don't. I doubt that's going to happen. Ooh, Rupan's hitting the books. Maybe, maybe put some virus into the computer or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ninety nine percent. Okay, I was kind of correct, so. Hmm. Maybe. Wait, what? Okay. But the computer didn't say anything about the trampoline. Did the computer say anything about the trampoline? Okay, maybe. Yes, Zenigata. <laughs> yeah. Calm yourself down, Zenigata. Like it's like it's like it's like you're you're dangling a fish in front of a cat, and the cat couldn't eat the fish. <laughs> oh my God! Yep, it's going according to the computer's plan. And he's like, yeah, I, like you know, I'll make it easy for him to kidnap me. Let me go to like a secluded place. There you go. Wait, what the? This is how he... Okay, don't do that. Call the police if you see something like this happening. Like, what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh great, it is a trampoline. <laughs> yeah. The police is like, yep, Rupan is here. Oh no. Well, let's see if Zenigas is able to calm himself down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, they could just capture him now, like... Yes. Like, they could have just captured him now, and like, they didn't need to go to all these roundabout procedures, like... What will happen if they try to escape now? Oh no, it's like another plan, and a new different plan that Rupan made. 
Oh, I feel like it's something like that. Or maybe not. Okay, let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oof. Oh, it is just in behind you. Didn't wasn't he able to hear that? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, okay. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the withdrawal symptoms are hitting him. Hitting Zenigata. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, exactly. Like unlike the computer, you can just change your plan at the drop of a hat. Like the computer can't do that. <coughs> exactly. Okay, so what will they do now? Wait, what? <clears throat> oh, I think maybe... <laughs> oh no! It's like normal, some other... Oh, these are dolls. Wait, what the? <laughs> well, obviously, like, this is a computer, like, you need to make preparations and stuff. You cannot change it. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you can just change your plan and, like, a. Uh, Spontaneous. Oh God. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, that's the end. <laughs> oh boy. <What? laughs> okay, I really like this episode. Um, <coughs> like this is the thing. Like, how can you even like? You know like do something like this like the obviously the the computer was predicting everything right correctly but it's like a huge super computer you need to like put in instructions there it is going to process everything then print out something and you need to read it then make a plan based on it while for Rupan he could just be like you know what I was thinking up until now that I was going to do it in this way maybe not I'll do the opposite like it's, it's just a matter of seconds for the person who's making the plan to change the plan like the computer won't be able to do this now obviously like after he changed the plan maybe if you like you know go to the computer and then like you know like do all the process again like put in instructions this and that and maybe then the computer might be able to predict again but it will be too late by that by that time this is not like a portable uh, like you know mini sized thing that you have on your 
uh, self for like you know all the time so that like you know as soon as you think like oh maybe let me check how this is going to go you click a button and the report comes out it's not something like that it's a huge computer you need to go there you need to at least spend like 10 to 15 minutes fiddling with it to get the desired like you know answer while Lupin can just do that in one second if he thinks that yeah I won't do it this way I'll do it this way he, he can just do that he can change it on his whim as he said so obviously a computer can do that so <clears throat> like this was bound to fail from the beginning like obviously this is not how it goes now here's the thing this thing might be like a <coughs> what do you call it like a uh, what can i say like this might be something that can come true in the future you know with more technological advancements more um, you know scientific <coughs> progression a day might come when we get something where like you know which can just like how we change our um plans we can change our plans on a whim maybe a day will come when the technology in itself can do that you know like on a whim they can change the result like you know like uh just like how we change our like you know our flexible thinking process like we're thinking something now and then we suddenly are thinking something else when technology in itself can do something like that I think then it will be something that can content a human brain but that in itself is pretty impossible for like you know at least for now like maybe like tens not tens sorry like thousands of years in the future um something like that might happen but it's not something for now like it's impossible like when we will get <coughs> proper uh, like you know a good like you know good uh, ai artificial intelligence uh, and when we are able to recreate an artificial intelligence which can rival a human's brain then this is this this whole concept will be possible not before that and uh, like we we see a lot of ai and ais are like you know really kind of progressing at such a like you know astonishing rate uh, like you know i i think i've heard like them saying something like oh there has been an ai which had defeated a human chess player I think something like that I don't remember something like that and there's like we've also seen AIs which learn you know like uh, breaking world records and stuff just by learning so like these things like it has like in the future these will definitely be possible but that brings in another like huge topic which is like will a day come when AI will become more dominant and oppress the human race like that's like another thing like you know this is like, these are like all like these theories like people are thinking now by seeing such like you know <clears throat> power of the artificial intelligence people are like you know being scared of uh, the future when they might start like you know um oppressing us the people who made them <laughs> so all these things but these are some other like you know stuff but yeah like <laughs> interesting to see well like this 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 came out during 1970 something like that didn't it yeah so wow they like made it like made made an episode like this which is kind of interesting okay so all right so this episode here uh, as we can see gordon comes from the fbi he's like oh we have a new technological you know advancement a new computer <clears throat> computer which can predict what other people not other people but what criminals are thinking and will produce a step-by-step -step process for you to capture that person and obviously Zenigata is not happy Zenigata is like what is happening I'm supposed to catch Rupan who is this computer which suddenly pops out and like <laughs> like definitely like you know I'm better than the computer and you know like at the beginning he was kind of a little bit shifty about this whole situation and <clears throat> Gordon is like you need to like you know listen to me I'll be able to I'll show you how to do this this and that and obviously the police like you know chief he is not happy with the fact that Rupan Rupan is still not captured so he's like you know trying more other, other different steps and seeing like you know to that oh maybe this this way we can capture Rupan or and yeah that's what he's thinking and obviously Zenigata is not happy with that but still he kind of like you know joins in on the plan and Rupan and they also 
get to see like oh this is a thing you know they're lupin is like oh they're challenging me you know let's see whether my brain or the computer is better and so obviously the first time that rupan does it is he's a little bit as always overconfident and that is what actually puts him in a big danger like in a, a dangerous situation and if zenigata did not interfere over there he would have been caught then and there like this is what rupan like in a, happens to rupan he all, always at the beginning he just overestimates his uh, like you know capabilities and like you know underestimates the enemy just goes in there dashing somehow mix like, you know, messes up then he realizes that oh yeah i need to probably calm down and think about the situation and that's when his brains like you know starts working properly and he comes out with a very good plan not before that like, you know always the first time he's overconfident just kicks in and everything like you know just messes up and that's what happened here as well <laughs> okay so the whole thing with the train um it was a it was a solid plan and rupan was also like thinking of it in that way it was a very simple plan that's why zenigata's like what the hell this plan like it won't work i was also thinking of it like you know i was also thinking that yeah like this won't work it's, it's kind of simple but it did work kind of you know to an extent now <clears throat> their plan was okay switch the things you know in the middle of the like you know process like in the station it will be in the first like you know the first compartment the money but then we when we go out we, we're going to switch it and uh, in the first compartment the guards and every police officers will be there while in the second compartment the money will be the, yeah yeah that's was yeah that's how what the plan was money will be shifted to and when like you know rupan will come out and uh, grab all the guards disguise them as guards get in the first compartment thinking the money is there but they'll get captured over there and that's how it was supposed to go it was going in that direction then Igata was like oh rupan is there like, you know like you know, like screw this plan let's go like as soon as he saw <laughs> as soon as like it, here's the thing um the noise that those people made who were like you know gagged um rupan and like you know they kind of got distracted by that kind of went back to see what was happening that was the little exception that happened and like gordon was continuously saying that let it go as it is going you know like even if they're going back even if this is like an exception follow the plan everything will work out well but zeniata was like no they're going back something must have happened the plan is over let's go grab him and so basically, I won't say like Zenigata saved the situation. I would have to say those guys who were gagged, they saved the situation because they were kind of, you know, like uh, screaming and like doing something over there. And that distracted Rupan's team. They went back, which, <laughs> which set off Zenigata and Zenigata suddenly came out. So that's what happened. Like this small little exception, like which kind of set off Zenigata and Zenigata just came out and the plan was just gone. Gordon was fuming. He was like, what the hell? Like, I was supposed to, it was supposed to go this way and you just interfered. <laughs> Zenigata goes and tries to capture Rupan. Fails. But he does get, uh, like, you know, heads hands on um, Jigen and Goemon. <laughs> My god. Okay. And then <laughs> Gordon is like, all right, next time, be sure to listen to me. Follow the plan. And <laughs> Gordon is just okay I'll, I'll do it like that i'm sorry <laughs> okay and now here's where rupan like realizes that yeah i was a bit overconfident and now he is using his brain properly and he's thinking how to do what to do he comes up with another plan which again was predicted by the computer and this is like the biggest weakness of the computer you need as i said you need to you know prepare for all the stuff like you know the the whole thing is going to come out you need to make plans and you cannot change the plan as soon as the plan is made you need to stick to it just like you know which is obviously something different for rupan rupan can change it in a drop of a hat change his plan just like that the computer cannot do that and the preparations need to be done prior to everything that's like the biggest weakness of this whole thing now <clears throat> so what Rupan was thinking at that time, the computer predicted that properly. It's all well and good. They they were like, all right, let's do this plan. You know, um, like we are going to like you know act, and like you know when Rupan is going to kidnap Gordon, we're going to act like we don't know that's Rupan, and let him do what he's trying to do and grab him by the end. Now, 
you know what? Like this is the thing. Just like how in the end Rupan changed his plan a little bit, tweaked it, and got out of the whole situation, they could have also done it, you know? Like I'm talking about Zenigata and all of them. But they were so like you know strictly following the plan of the computer that they did not do that. I'm telling this because they could you know what they could have done when Rupan got in into the computer room and like you know we're doing thing according to their plan they were supposed to play like you know according to Rupan's plan you know act like yeah Lupin fooled me and do what he is doing go along with his plan that was what the computer told him to do and that was what their plan was if they according to their whim changed that a little bit at that moment and you know like if Zenigata at this moment was were, did something like you know what I am not stopping here. Rupan is in front of me. His uh, group is captured in the prison. You know what? Let's all just jump on top of him and just handcuff him and, you know, like, just, just capture him at that then and that moment. If they change the plan according to their will, I'm talking about Zenigata and the police chief, they could have gotten Rupan. Like, this is what it is. They were too, what can I say, like, strict in following the plan which messed it up and if they worked according to their whim they could have got Rupan because that's what would have, what would have happened Rupan did not know that they knew that he was Rupan he thought like oh like they think I'm Gordon you know he was not suspecting anything who just went in his back was turned towards them doing the computer and thing Zenigata was on top of him breathing like a wolf you know with the with the uh, handcuffs <laughs> they could have easily captured him there you know, Zenigata could have just put the handcuff on, on top, uh, on, the, on that thing. They could have just locked the door, like, do, do whatever and, like, jumped on top of him, tied him up, like, you know, just, just captured him then and there. And that's it. Game over. Like, you know, his friends are captured, Rupan is captured, everything's over. But no, they went according to the plan. They did not work according to the will, uh, to their whim, which was the biggest reason why this plan failed. Rupan changed his plan at the moment, ending moment. They could have also done that, but they did not. And that's basically the reason why this plan failed. You know? like, and that really shows how you can, like, you know, human brain is, at least for now, you know, in this like, you know, time, in this like, you know, technological advancement time, human brain is still far more <coughs> flexible and better than a computer. You know, it's flexible. It's, you can, okay, you know what? Not better. I won't say it's better than a computer AI or something. Um, but it's definitely flexible. That's the huge thing, you know. Um, technological, scientific intelligence, AI, these are not flexible. So that's the main thing of the human brain. And yeah, they they just like, like just lost a golden opportunity to catch Rupan. And <laughs> that's what happened, you know. Like they they went according to the plan, and then. <clears throat> Rupan in the end Rupan was like wait a minute like uh, previously this was how it went as well I went according to the plan and in the end I saw like that's what they predicted you know what at the last moment I'm going to change it I'm going to do something else that's what he did he just like you know even like you know in the in the note he wrote that uh, to Zenigata and um, not Zenigata Jigen and Goemon that you know like go on top of that jump I'm sure he wrote stuff like that but Till he changed the plan in the end and he just went there and they were surprised. They were like, what the hell? You are not supposed to come here. <laughs> Rupan is like, yeah, this is my whim. And that's how you beat a computer by acting according to your whim. And yeah, that's what happened. Like, you know, they just dropped the dolls and I don't know how, how where did she go? He got them like, oh, I think it was probably <laughs> the, the thing that he used, uh, you know, the, the, the little, uh, little hand glider thing i think it was goemon's dress or something like goemon was naked at that moment i think it was was that the goemon's dress what was that wait so why was he oh they were naked because they put their dress into the doll okay 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 never mind i don't know where they got that hand glider thing but somehow they got it i guess <laughs> But yeah, just ran away and like Gordon was inside the truck. Everyone was like, oh, this is Rupan. But that was not Rupan. That was the actual Gordon. 
yeah it failed and gordon was like how did this happen my computer it's foolproof but no because as as zupan said like you know you need to be flexible your human like you know human brains are flexible and that's what uh like you know change this whole thing okay so yeah and that was a really good episode like i, I liked it uh, that was episode 22 so let's start with episode number 23 and this is the final episode of this season so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what's happening here? Oh no. Damn. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the, the great golden showdown? Ogon no Dai Shobu. <laughs> what the, who the? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn, Jigen looks good. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's a that's an interesting trap door or whatever. Not a trap door, but like a secret. Oh my God, that's Fujiko. Then what? Then Billy? <laughs> okay. Ten billion. What type of an absurd amount is that? <laughs> okay. Whoa! Yo! What the? What? Yo, kid! <laughs> that was... Oh my god. Wow. Wow. The <laughs> Yes <it's> me. <laughs> Wait, Gwebon is not here? My god. Oh no.
I don't think he'll be drinking tea. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what the yo? Yeah, Rupan might come. <laughs> what happened to him? Why is he acting like this? This is part of a bigger plan. Oh my god. Great, what are you doing? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow. Draft. <laughs> oh no, is it like resignation? Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Final battle. Oh my god. Plan, okay. What? Wipe out the hideout. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. Oh no, the hideout. Oh my God, they're gonna come here. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a new direction they're taking this. Good. Well, obviously, he's... He's supposed to be lying low to this. Oh, no. Wow. Is this actually the real... Is this the real apartment? Is this really... Um... Even the sky. <laughs> Just break it down, like. <laughs> oh my god, it's like dolls in there. No, wait. Wow. Good thinking. That was really well done. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, the way they did it. <laughs> okay, this is good. Okay. <laughs> um yeah what the oh no <laughs> it's like projector and everything
Yeah, I'll take it. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> but this is a good attempt, you know? Yeah. Again, he's underestimating. But well, this is like some... Damn. Wow, what is this place? Like there. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Um. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Look at this place. Oh. Okay. What? What is this? Oh, damn. <laughs> oh! Jesus! What? What type of car did he buy? Like, cars don't do this, you know? Like... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Coleman is just... That guy is eating something, wasn't he? The police officer. Oh! <laughs> oh! My god, look at that. <laughs> wow. I grabbed them as well. Oh no 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 no. Quick oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is, this... oh <laughs> oh no oh my god wait what oh my god those have transmitters in it Okay, that's a good good plan. All right, let's see. <laughs> A 
Okay, come on. Notice that they're fake. Oh, what's happened to him? Yeah, come on. All right, there you go. He can. He'll notice it. Oh. Okay, you can trick them. Yeah, you can trick them. Okay, he said that one third of it. Like, so two third of it is still real, aren't it? <laughs> oh my god wait what did he do Yeah, what did he do? Like throw it into a river or something? Sanitation. Oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> different you kind know, of trucks. But it goes in different direction. Oh my god, yo, your neck, is it okay? Wow, they're going to search each and every one of them. Oh god. Like obviously, it's apparent that they like. Why would he, they Rupan keep it with him? Why why is it still trying to find him using the transmitters? Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my position. <laughs> oh my god. Well, there you go. Those are sanitation. Um... God. Ah. Under a landfill. Wait a minute. Oh no! Oh my god. Yeah, oh. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Okay, a little bit of a problem here we have. Yeah. That was a blunder. Is there like like a landfill or something? Pitfall? I think there's a pitfall.
There must be. Uh, yeah. um, was there really a bomb inside? There, wait, what? Um, I'm pretty sure they're fine. <laughs> what the? Oh boy. Uh. Oh my god, what what are these? Oh no. Wait, what was that that blew up then? Okay, there you go, they got the money. Oh my god! Oh yo! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, that was a good ending. <laughs> Oof. Man, like, uh, what can I say? Okay, this is really a good ending. <laughs> I still don't understand what that was. Oh, that was that like really a bomb or something? Like, but maybe it was. But it's probably like a very low powered bomb or something. Like it just kind of blew a little bit and just kind of. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So <clears throat> this episode here, uh, the people like, you know, they're like, this like digging like underground and everything. The miners are some like you know, those people. They were like, oh, like, it was like a, not a miner. So it was like a construction company. And they found money suddenly on top. I don't know. We don't know where that money was. Probably some people, I don't know, like some, probably buried it over there. No one even knew. They just, you know, they kind of constructed a building on top of it. And now that they're like, I'm guessing, doing something with the construction again, they found the money. And uh, not money, but the gold. And obviously, like, people are just jumping on top of it. Like, uh, <laughs> the company was like, no, it's ours. The, the, the one who were on like you know like uh, had the land was like no this is ours and like the police was like yeah let's just keep it in the bank for now so <laughs> yeah and so they got to know here and we can see like you know like the the, the different hideouts I, I guess like you know in this episode they kind of showed us the different hideouts very properly they were like there's like this one hideout in the beginning there was then there was this next hideout where there was all like you know different airplanes and all uh like you know under the landfill which was which was like i guess which was like their most ancient and most widely used hideout there's like these stuff which had uh all the like you know different 
robberies or all the different um, crimes that they committed all were kind of noted and written down so all these different hideouts we see and we have also kind of see what <clears throat> i guess what zenigata and uh, not zenigata sorry uh, what jigen fujiko they do uh, jigen is like i guess like an owner of a gun shop i guess is that was what it was yeah and fujiko is an owner of a jewelry shop <laughs> Like I never knew that. I like, I think this is like the first time I actually saw that. <clears throat> so yeah, and obviously they had this like you know like alarm thing. Whenever like a new job came in, Rupan ringed them, and they like, you know got in contact, and they came into the hideout to plan like, you know to plan like what to do after this. Now this video really shows like I guess this is like two things about Rupan, like two part of Rupan where um you know like this thing this whole thing we, we are seeing here is where rupan is actually acting with zenigata uh, goemon and fujiko as a team and they have like a little group where whenever like you know one person finds a job he he or she like obviously fujiko is also there rings the other people up comes uh, like into the hideout make up a plan go together do the job together and share it within them while there's this another aspect of Rupan where we see like all of them kind of work individually like Rupan kind of teams up with Goemon while uh, not Goemon sorry Jigen while Fujiko always kind of does her own thing completely solo while there's also like you know Goemon sometimes joins in Rupan's team sometimes like, you know he hires him as a bodyguard or whatever and like this is how it goes like these are like the two aspects like either Fujiko works all alone and kind of like they have like a little rivalry going on while this this aspect of uh, Rupan that we see here is where she actually acts as a team, as a group, as a syndicate, and uh, like I don't know which I guess like they kind of um uh you know what I think after Miyazaki came in you know Miyazaki and Takahata this this whole syndicate kind of thing started like you know like forming because i think after episode 13 or something from where miyazaki starts directing the episodes fujiko completely changes you know he she becomes uh, very helpful in most of the time there were a few ep episodes where he still kind of tried to uh, like you know mess with rupan but got the whole thing turned around and you know uh, and this whole group thing starts happening where rupan actually acts as a group while before that you know before episode 13 um like rupan was all like you know kind of kind of alone working alone and uh obviously jigen was with him uh but still like they kind of did like the whole thing solo like fujiko was kind of working solo she all always like you know tried to um like, betray rupan in some one way or the other and like you know there's like a whole thing going on this rivalry thing but yeah obviously i, th I think because of the change in directors that's probably why you know like this is how it kind of changed like solo to like a team whole thing and uh, like he, both of them has this own charm you know like <laughs> it's like chaotic whenever like you know they're working um, all like you know different fujiko's trying to mess with rupan this and that while here we can see the teamwork and their actual plan how it kind of like you know they go into the different um <clears throat> robberies and all each has its own charm but okay so yeah here we see um them like you know ringing fujiko and jigen and uh, the, the whole car chase thing was so random and weird like <laughs> like some people just eating and just drops down from the top of the house <laughs> with the car and <laughs> okay all right so yeah that was that and then they you know come into the hideout they talk about the whole situation and here we see what Zenigata is doing Zenigata is like you know what I'm not going there you know, it's enough is enough. I don't want to do this anymore. You know, Rupan always gets out, and the police chief is like, "What the hell are you doing? You're lacking. You're you know slacking off this and that." Zinigata gets pissed off. He's like, "What the hell are you saying? Like, I caught Rupan two times. You were the reason. Like, you know, not you, but you know, the police force was the reason that he ran away. And the police force the responsibility is your responsibility. So you are responsible for this. And this and that squabbling around and." <laughs> Zenigata is like, you know what, <laughs> like, here you go, resignation. And he's like, I have a different plan. If I fail, I'm going to resign. <laughs> Police chief is like, no, don't do that. 
<laughs> like, you know, we are already such... We don't have enough people here. <laughs> if you leave, like, what will we do? <laughs> like, obviously, Janigata is, like, a very good police officer. Like, all the time, because he's against Rupan, we don't understand that. But I'm guessing for normal, uh, like, you know, robbery and normal thieves, he's probably the most proficient. Whenever it comes to Rupan, he messes up. Because Rupan is that, like, you know, uh, clever and that um, <clears throat> good. <laughs> the police chief realized he was like okay like yeah if he leaves this police station we're screwed <laughs> oh boy but yeah like this is uh zenigata's pride you know like he's been trying to get rupan for so long so this is like the last you know like chance he has and <clears throat> okay like i loved the next section where like you know zenigata, zenigata comes with, with a very different plan here and i kind of like it he kind of went in a different direction he was like all right all the time we kind of go to the scene where this the robbery happens this time we'll strike before that we will go to the hideout and this was a pretty good plan but oh boy lupin again like you know turned it around they were able to pinpoint the location but the way that they did it you know like when when they like you know kicked in the door and just fall fell down lupin zenigata and uh, not zenigata so sorry jigen and fujiko Wait, was Goemon also there? I don't remember. Anyways, no, no, Goemon was not there. Okay, uh, yeah, those three. You know, they were fully uh, putting police officer uh, like you know disguises and also fell into the group. Like that was really well done. I have to say, like good thinking, the way they actually <clears throat> went out of that situation. And yeah, obviously they cannot find anyone. And Rupan, Fujiko, and Jigen sneaks out of that place, you know, like with the with the evidence or whatever that they presented to Zenigata. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's what happens. And then obviously there was like a timer going on where, you know, like the gardens closed, the projector started, and Rupan is like, ah, we are out of here. You know, we have a lot of other hideouts as well. I tricked you, <laughs> and I'll also get the money. You know, like. You you guys are squabbling with the money and like and it's pretty difficult for you to decide which person the money will go to. So you know what? I'll help you out. I'll take it for myself. And <laughs> yeah, okay. And then um, they go to the original hideout, I guess, as they said. And Rupan kind of shows us the different things here, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Like you know, like this. I don't think they showed this hideout before in any of the movies. I don't think so. Uh, obviously they how can they show the hideout like in this episode the hideout blows up up so but anyways like this is the first time we see it and as as rupan says like there's so many materials here like zenigata can probably like you know like like the things that we have here accounted and recorded is even more than a police station like all the different like you know like notes and everything like all just uh, reports and all just uh, you know like files upon piles and there's like guns and at the same time like those airplanes cars like so i'm guessing those were actually uh you know collected by rupan 2 and rupan 1 you know his grandfather and father most probably and there was like the collection so <clears throat> and as like since it was so old everything's like just breaking down and all <clears throat> and then they start their actual plan of getting the money and as always it was a good plan you know like they kind of dig hole deep down and um like, you know fujiko and jigen they bring them <laughs> you know like um spiked food uh, probably some uh, i don't know some sleeping uh, pills or something was added into it <laughs> like like put it like you know give it to them and oh my god like they eat it and then Zenigata's like, okay, let's just check inside. He checks inside, sees Rupan going away with the money and he just drops down, sleep asleep. <laughs> and they're all gone. Now Zenigata knew that something like this might happen. So already put one third of uh, the gold as fake and put transmitters in it. Which was another thing that um, I have to say, like good thinking for Zenigata. Like he 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 kept a backup plan if something goes wrong, and 
Rupan, they were like running away with the money and then they realized Rupan, Rupan was also thinking something is wrong. He's like, yeah, this is going too easily. And you know, his intuition, it kicks in and he was like, oh, those are fake. And there is a translator with, inside it. So now here again, like, like this, this episode was basically like, oh, I see through your plan. And the other person is like, no, I see through that plan. And everyone's like, you know, kind of just, you know, seeing, uh, what can I say? Like trying to out match one another like first rupan is doing that and then zengat is coming on top and then rupan is doing it again and here rupan thinks like all right let's do something different here it you know sorts out all the fake ones throws them into different um landfill cars and oh my god like this thing like <sighs> like did he forget at that moment that his his hideout is in underneath a landfill like what <laughs> oh my god that was like a huge blunder as he said in the end it's a royal blunder like definitely like that was a big blunder but all right so they were all trying to find out where the transmitter is now i don't know why zenigata was trying to do that because i think zenigata probably thought that like obviously at that moment when you see so many transmitters all uh, like you know uh, across the city Obviously, you are going to think like, yeah, they probably got to know that the transmitters are in it and then trying to take trick us. I don't know why Zenigata still like, you know, told his police force to go and track all the transmitters because, because Rupan is not a fool. Like, you know, like, why would he keep any transmitter with him? Like, definitely, he definitely, like, you know, spread all the transmitters to different places and he himself don't, 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 doesn't have any transmitter now. So, like, going, trying to track the transmitters means nothing over here because rupan doesn't even have the transmitter on him i don't know why zenigata like you know did it like this but like you know like maybe he thought that rupan still had the transmitter on him or something but i don't know why he even told the people to follow the transmitter signals it turns out that kind of worked out by the end of it because <laughs> of the blunder that rupan made um all the oh my god like all the trucks come into the landfill and rupan is just standing there just you know mouth open in shock he's like oh my god like yeah like i forgot that our hideout is literally underneath the landfill and all these trucks are going to come here by the end of it <laughs> and that's what i said like you know like uh, since zenigata tracked the transmitters it worked out pretty well by the end of it uh because of rupan's blunder here and Rupan, oh my god, like here Rupan, I'm, I'm, I don't know what actually happened here. Rupan started saying like, oh, there's like a bomb underneath, don't come here. Like since I did such a royal blunder, I'm going to go in and, you know, and just get blown up. And like he goes in, it kind of blows up. I don't know what the hell that was. That was, I, I probably it was a bomb, but like... How did he do that? Like, was there like a remote control bomb underneath which he had, like, you know, like control of and he just blasted it so that they are able to escape within those drums or whatever? Like, I don't know how he did that, but he did it somehow. He got inside and, like, you know, blew up. And, okay, one thing here, I don't know if this is a reference, but just a second, let me just check. Okay, so. <laughs> I kind of checked it out if I'm correct or not. Is that like a reference to Indiana Jones, the fridge, you know, and the bomb? Like, you know, like the, the whole thing with, um, you know, when the nuclear, like, you know, he, he I think like he escaped in a nuke. Like, I've not seen the movie, but I've heard, you know, like you, you, he gets in like a fridge to escape from a nuclear bomb. Is, is that like, a, is that what they were trying to do here? Like, you know, the fridge and the bomb thing? I don't know. I, I, I'm just guessing. <laughs> Maybe, maybe they try, to, you know, kind of try to reference that. Um, yeah, anyways, okay, so, like, you know, like, the whole thing blasts off, and obviously Zenigata is broken down, he's like, oh, Rupan is dead, this and that, he's thinking. And, uh, like, you know, like, this really shows, like, you know, like, if, if he, he has been, like, involved with Rupan for so long, that this is, like, a weird relationship where they, they try to, like, you know, catch each other as police and thief. But at the same time, there's mutual respect, there's mutual, uh, like, you know, each of them kind of, um, what do you call it, respects their abilities, like, 
because we've seen before, you know, like Zenigata, uh, when like someone was, you know, like underestimating Rupan, Zenigata was like, oh, don't you dare say that, like, you know, Rupan, like, you know, is like something like this happened in one of the previous episodes, as far as I can remember, you know, like when someone underestimated Rupan's, like, you know, strength and abilities, he was like, ah, you're a fool, you don't understand. And similarly, Rupan also, like, you know, respects Zenigata's, because, uh, Zenigata's ability as well, like, has like certain respect for each other in in their own weird way <laughs> and yeah like it, it is like a weird thing but obviously like you know he just wants to catch rupan he doesn't want to kill him you know and like there are definitely a lot of more people in this world who are more vicious than rupan rupan is just a thief you know he he doesn't kill people and he obviously you know what i just oh god I was saying like he doesn't kill people but i guess <laughs> the first 13 episodes he killed a lot of people but that was definitely because you know like it was like the beginning of rupan and after that you know i i doubt he kills people that much but <laughs> yeah but anyways like you know like that's what i'm saying like you know he, he he's not like a murderer or something like there are definitely more vicious people in this world who are even more evil than rupan like that's why I'm pretty sure Zenigata also like knows that, realizes that, and this is just like a thing for them, you know, like Zenigata catches, tries to catch Rupan, Rupan tries to run away, and it kind of goes on from here, like there's mutual respect, mutual, you know, it's like a competition, a rivalry, you can say. So yeah, that saddened him at, at that moment, but obviously Rupan has something, you know, like ready for that, he, like, you know, we were escaped in like barrels and stuff. Had the money within it and i don't know what the hell zenigata was doing over there he just rammed into the barrels with a speedboat <laughs> and then realized that oh my god like rupan is alive and then started swimming towards them <laughs> oh okay and yeah that that was just it and in the end zenigata was like oh you're going towards america and and rupan is like maybe we should go towards china and that was how it ends so oh, yeah, great ending to first season. Okay, I really loved it. <laughs> so yeah, this episode, wow. These two episodes I really enjoyed, like, you know, episode 22 and 23. Uh, I'll have to say 23 was more entertaining than 22, uh, even though 22 in itself was pretty entertaining. So yeah, that was a good end. So yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to these two final episodes of Rupan uh, the Third Part 1. So yeah, if you guys, okay, now before I like, you know, say the outro and whatever, um, uh, as I said, in the beginning, I said this, uh, if you have not checked it out, you, could, you should check it out the first portion of the video where I tell what I'm going to do from next week. You know, check that portion out if you haven't. I, I talk about it in details there, what I'm going to do from the next week. But as I said, like, you know, in the comments, definitely recommend uh, episodes from season two. Um, Eight of you people, I'll like, you know, kind of like, I'll do uh, the episode, I'll complete episode, uh, season two within two months. You know, I'll kind of pick the different episodes according to your recommendations. So, yeah, anyway, so from the next week onwards, um, like, definitely comment in this video. Like, I need content from, for next week. So, from next week onwards, I'm going to start season two, the episodes which are recommended to me by you guys. So that was it. That was uh, this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This is my reaction to Rupan the Third, uh, Part One, Episode Number Twenty Two and Twenty Three. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below. Um, definitely comment down below. As I said, like you know, the recommendations and anything else you want to say, I'll check them out. So yeah, that was it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new season of Rupan the Third and you know you guys' recommendation of uh, any episodes that you recommend the reaction to it. So see you guys next week. Until then goodbye and have a nice day.